Hello folks and welcome to day 23 of Poem A Day. I want to say before I start just a huge thank you to everybody who reached out yesterday um, when I posted saying there wouldn't be a poem because I wasn't feeling too well. It was such a huge relief to have those little connections popping in, uh, words of support and encouragement and permission to miss a day and and to be in that place of just not, not being able to be curious about the difficult state of being and to just be in it and be difficult and not be enjoying it. It was a real gift. So thank you to everybody who clicked clicked on the post and um, reached out. It, it meant the world. Uh, I'm back today uh, feeling better, uh, although I can't say that life is that much easier our little family is certainly starting to feel the strain of being cooped up together for such a long time and it's not been an easy morning. And the words of this poem, particularly the last uh, couple of sentences, have just really started to thrum in my heart and in my head over this last hour as I've been able to kind of breathe into the space that we're in. And I guess it's these words that I'm hoping myself and my husband and my son can give to one another for the rest of the day and, and the days to come and I hope that they will also be present for you and that perhaps you can live them for yourself and give them to those you love um, as and when they are needed. So without further ado for day 23 of a poem a day I'm offering The Art of Fugue part 6 by Jan Zwicky. Once again, the moment of impossible transition. The bow, its silent voice above the string. Let us say your story goes like this. Let us say you could start anywhere. Let us say you took your splintered being by the hand and led it to the centre of a room, starlight through the floorboards of the soul. The patterns of your life repeat themselves until you listen. Forgive this. Say now what you need to say. <sighs> 